Hi and welcome to Amalgam Nation. This week's vid is going to be a little bit different. You're going to see an unedited intro to, and credits to the beginning of Simon the Sorcerer. After that, I'm going to talk about the game. For my first trick, pulling the dog out of the hat. Thank you, Chippy. Now for some credits. Impressed, eh? Well, watch this. Let me try that again. The wand never fails. I'm getting the idea, and now for my next trick. Ah! Oh well, back to the old drawing board. Pretty good, huh? I'm entirely self-taught, you know. I can't believe you've watched this far. Skip through it by now. I can smell burning. Hang on. Ow! Ow! Ooh. Ow! Ooh. <laughs> I'd like to see you do better. I wonder if I can find a better dog in here. Ow! I didn't even have time to get a phone number. Now, for all you traditionalists... <coughs> knocks them dead every time. Now for the woman again. <coughs> ah! Never mind, I like a woman with spirit. This homework is really bugging me. I think I'll find the dog and put it in the dryer again. <coughs> so that's where you are. What's this? Ye oldie spell bookie. What a load of old rubbish. Okay, guys, this magic paper brings food. I thought I heard something. Alizigi, Alizangi, Alizongi, Alizongi. Dear Simon, 
I am pleased to announce that you have been chosen from literally hundreds of hopeful candidates to perform a death-defying but extremely worthwhile quest, for which you will be rewarded quite a lot. All you have to do is rescue me from the hands of the evil sorcerer Sordid. Feel free to use my extremely valuable spellbook and dog to assist you. Look forward to seeing you soon. Wish you were here. Love and kisses. Calypso, Grand High Wizard of the Village of Fleur de Lis. P.S. Before you can use the spellbook, you must become a wizard. There are some wizards hanging around in the local tavern who can help you. P.P.S. Use this magic postcard and map to help you. Oh, great! I'm stuck here in this stinking world in these stinking clothes and not a pizza bar in sight! Lucky this is just a dream or I'd be really worried. I hope you enjoyed that little intro to Simon the Sorcerer. That's literally just the beginning credits. And that is actually what the game looks like in gameplay. Now, Simon the Sorcerer is a comedy game, a point and click adventure puzzler. This game was made when 3D graphics were first becoming popular and its creators decided to make a 2D side scrolling game on purpose just because they thought it would be easier and more fun. This game truly is impossible to review without giving away details that will affect your playthrough of it should you decide to play it for yourself. But I will do my best to not spoil the actual storyline of the game. You play the titular role of Simon, a very young boy. His age is not mentioned, but I would guess that he is about 10 or 12 years old. You are summoned to another dimension in order to save a wizard from the evil sorcerer Sordid. But like I said, this is a comedy point and click adventure puzzler. You must use your wits to make your way through this game, or more than likely you will need to use some sort of guide to figure out some of these puzzles. The story of the game contains a lot of atypical fantasy genre creatures and plot points. There are dwarves, valkyrie, mages, wizards, sorcerers, whatever you want to call them, and many childhood story references and even a Tolkien reference. You come across what appears to be Gollum fishing off the edge of a cliff, but it turns out that he is merely a man in a costume. He proves this by pulling his mask to show that it is rubber. There is a Rapunzel scene that I personally find to be very funny. As a sorcerer, Simon has a magical hat that he uses to store everything you find in the game. If Simon can use it at some point, then he can pick it up and store it in his bottomless hat. You can use a lot of different things throughout the game to much hilarity, but each item has a specific use. For example, there is a dwarf asleep in a pub you can use scissors to cut off his beard and thus obtain a beard for use later in the game. For me one of the best parts of the game is a point where you rescue a druid from some goblins by tricking him into taking on his animal form which in the case of this druid turns out to be a frog of all things. That's all I'm going to say about this game. I did say I don't want to give away too much about it it's a very short game, check it out if you want, you can get on GOG.com or good old games. Uh, as always, remember, play the game and game to play.